Um, Tom, do you want to take us through the wheel a little bit? What's coming after 60? The, so 31, 33, 7, before we arrived into the... Do you want to talk about that or do you want to... I'd be happy to. Yeah. yeah you already did it to some degree, but I'll, but I'll add to it. And yeah. uh -huh. it's, it's really something to see because when we, we get to the end of the wheel, we're seeing the expression of what the beginning of that quarter was all about. Mm -hmm. We really are finding the way to improve the initiation. And if we do that every year, in a few years, we're going to have a lot of improvement, right? Okay, so we're in the 56 gate, six line now, and we know it's all about living by your own word. What is that from a design perspective? Following your type and your strategy and, and your authority and making decisions correctly as yourself, you're actually a functional human being. <laughs> Instead of someone who's just making noise, you're actually demonstrating what human design's promise is. You can be satisfied. You can be peaceful. You can be sweet. You can be surprised as opposed to the opposites of those things. So we're in the 56, all right? And the 56 takes us, we know we're looking at the sixth line, living by one's own, one word. We're looking at how to be influential because that's what the sixth line is interested in. What's next? The six is always saying, been there, done that. What's next? Look at the 35th hexagram. Look at the sixth line. Rectification. How can we rectify something that needs to be rectified? Look at what this opposition in the wheel is. We're not on the wheel yet. I'm, I'm just talking about the 35 and the, 30, and the 5. The 35, 6. Rectification. The 5, 6. The opposition of it. Yielding. Bending to the universal flow and seeing how things work out in unexpected ways. We have someone here born on the cross of the unexpected. What is there to expect? The unexpected. To be surprised to realize how the universe has got your back if you're in touch with it, if you're in tune with it, if you're fighting against it. Well, we know what that feels like and we're sick and tired of being sick and tired. So the 35th hex, the 31 hexagram, you're gonna love this. This is hilarious. Everybody thinks they wanna manifest. What's the first line of the 31? After you're living by your own word, manifestation. Manifestation, is that hilarious? Manifestation, influence cannot exist in a vacuum. If you're coming here and you're finding that what's happening here is helping you and improving your life, don't keep it a secret. It's not meant to be a secret. It's giving you the way to be influential with others. Now you can talk about it and that's useful, but you can be it and people see that. People are going to be a lot more interested in what they can see rather than what you say. Because people say all kinds of things and never live by it. How are you going to manifest? Living by your own word. That's manifestation. Everything else is nonsense. But, okay, for the 31, we get on this cross, cross of the unexpected. We were just talking about the unexpected. This is the cross of the unexpected. Wow, I can be unexpected influential to other people if I'm just being myself, if I'm listening to my inner truth, if I'm listening to my inner truth and following that, people notice that and manifestation can happen as a result of that. You see what's going on here in this quarter? The expression of why we went through all these gates to find your voice, to live by your own word people will notice the difference. They will come up to you and say, what is it that you know that I might benefit from knowing? And then there's that influence. Projectors, Dominique, okay? Projectors, waiting for people to come up to you and invite you into a conversation. If you feel recognized by something they say, they're open to your guidance. You're here to be a guide when this shift happens. It's going to be such a sweet life when people come to you and say, what is it that you know that I might benefit from knowing? Please, everybody, Ben said, put your information in your profile. If you want to see how it's done, go to my profile and look at my profile. 
I have my birth data right by my name, right on the thing where it says, if you think I'm a smart ass, you should meet my spirit guides. Okay, so when we go from there, we go to the juxtaposed cross of influence. You're going to be influential. And what is that? The left angle cross of the alpha, a leader, not a leader who has a need to lead, a leader who is correcting himself and notices that others are following. It works in very, very unexpected ways. It comes to us when we're being ourselves, when we're in observation instead of stuck on limiting beliefs. Then what do we do? We retreat. Retreat. One of the four ways, the cross of the four ways, the 33rd hexagram, Ben just talked about it. We retreat. Why do we retreat? To discover who we are, to let go. What's the sixth line, the wisdom line of the 33? Disassociation to the ability to completely let go. Let go of what? The past. It's over. Be in the now. Projecting into the future, okay? 35th hexagram, the four ways. Juxtaposed cross of retreat. That's why we're all in isolation. That's this whole pandemic thing that's forcing us to be in isolation. It's a blessing in disguise, folks. For people that are paying attention, you're benefiting. For people that are not paying attention, they're living in fear and they're dying, like dropping like flies, and they're going to keep doing that. There will be less people around. It's not a problem. We're all going to get out of here at some point. That's not a problem. Where do we go from there? The left angle cross of refinement. Oh, so in this privacy and sticking to myself, I can refine myself. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Quit believing everything else. Quit listening to everything outside, including my damn voice, by the way. Just find your own inner voice. Find it. Where do we go from the 33 to the new quarter? This is a time to be still, to be with yourself, to let go of all the nonsense that you know doesn't work in your life, to be yourself, get the mask off, show up at the quarter of duality, able to relate in relationships. The most important ships you will build are your relationships. You were not necessarily born into that when you came into a family. This, where people are looking for awareness. Relationships will not be based upon who you have permission to touch. Relationships will be based upon a common awareness that is enlightening and enlivening. Oh, now we can actually make contributions to one another in relationships. So that's the end of the quarter. For those of you who have been here watching this quarter, we've gone through all 11 gates in the voice. When you look at your chart, you'll see what voices you have. Notice Ben doesn't have any voices. Doesn't prevent him from speaking. It's where he can be incredibly wise and attract a lot of people. That's what he does. Mm -hmm. And he's good at it. Mm -hmm. And thank you for it, Ben. Mm -hmm. Because when we get together with Ben, we're not going to talk about the weather. We're not going to talk about football. We're not going to talk about how many people we've had sex with. We're going to talk about correct behavior. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How gorgeous is that? See mm -hmm. the wisdom of a completely reflected throat? Okay, folks, it's when you're exuberant, I am. We've just Hi, guys. What's up? I hope you enjoy the content that I've been putting together. Um, that was really good. That was from our last uh, Sunday. We have a weekly meeting in the Hub 27 with all the members. We gather every week. This is the Rising Phoenix or podcast or weekly podcast in the Hub. And we always talk about the transit. We always take a look at the transits. You know, we, we look at what's going on here, what's coming, what has been for the week. And we kind of like giving the weather. Um, we're going to have a public... Um, a public gathering that is open to everyone. I'm putting the link in, in the description of the video. That's gonna be on August 9th. Um, the time and everything will be in, in the link. It's gonna be 10 a.m. Pacific time, 7 p.m. Uh, Europe. And we will talk about the new quarter that is coming. So if you wanna join us and be you know with us live uh, while we are giving description and everything what is happening with the new 
uh, the new quarter that is coming, the duality, the link is here. So thank you for your support. Thank you for joining us. I'm really excited to have you. Um, and also, if you want to join the Hub 27, all the details and information are in the description. Sorry for the noise. I'm in Tulum and there are so much construction everywhere. Don't come to Tulum, it's not a good place. It's too noisy, dusty construction. It's not worthy. So anyway, beautiful all the time. I'm excited to see you on the 9th, August 9th. We will talk about the new quarter of duality that is coming, all the gates and everything. It's gonna be amazing. So I'm really looking forward to seeing you. Um, would you like to join us in the Hub 27? Are you interested in human design? Is that something that you find valuable for yourself and you wanna, you wanna continue to study and you wanna live it, you wanna be practical with it, you wanna apply in your day-to-day? -day? Um, if so, I really invite you to join us into the Hub 27. All right, love you, babe. Bye, beautiful, all the time, see you soon.